all they want to do is make videos when I get things wrong. And it's like, don't you understand? First of all, I could sue your ass. So, so be aware of that too, trolls. I do have the money to sue the shit out of you. It could be like that for the troll who's screen recording right now. Joseph, I, I mean, you're, you're a mean guy, so, so hopefully you can handle this. That said, I have seen your wife, and I might actually rather fuck some dudes than your wife. Your wife is the definition of a paper bag, and it's not even that. It's not even a paper bag. It's just like an, oh, whew. Allie was trying to get in my pants, and I guarantee you, had I slept with Allie, I guarantee that would have been out all over the internet. Imagine had I left Sweet Lady for Al Allie, how bad of a decision that would have made. Ooh, man, would have left for some kind of troll operative. I'd probably be in the obituaries. Again, just imagine had I taken my mom's advice and left Sweet Lady a good one for a troll operative who probably would put poison in my drink. I noticed there's a guy over on the troll channel and every comment section is blowing me away. I'm like, what in the world? I promoted that guy for years. What's he over there doing now? He was another operative this whole time. It's crazy. Welcome back, True Seeker. Yeah, well, what is my record for calling futures? Better than anybody's. What's my pick percentage compared to everyone else in the world? Better than everybody's. People like listening to this man talk and it blows me away because all he's doing is talking about himself and how great he is and how bad everyone else is. But no, the thing about sports picks is it has elevated a lot of people's life. It's changed their financial position. I mean, the same trolls who harass are the same ones who hear the callers every day on the stream who hear about how they've never had this much money before. They've never won this much money. They were homeless. They finally got their car out of the shop. They can finally move to a better neighborhood. No, we've changed a lot of people's lives through this knowledge. So, I mean, that, that, that's the good thing about doing the sports. It has helped change a lot of people's lives. Oh, really? Flashback. Mark, maybe you don't know him by the name Mark, but um, you definitely would know his voice if you heard it. Found out yesterday that he passed last weekend. It's really tragic, and, and, and you know, it's, it's hearsay what I heard, but um, supposedly he placed a big bet, and he lost it, and it pushed him over the edge. Hey, do you think you've had anything to do with this guy's death? Do you think, do you, do you feel any responsibility at all? I, I, I can't take responsibility for his death. I mean, yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all. Because... But I, I do feel like maybe I, I could have done more. What do you mean by that? Well, I, I could have been more. Um, I, I should have let him know just how, how great I thought he was. I, I wish I would have told him that before. Um... Do you think that would have saved him? Or do you think these sports picks literally killed him because he was losing so much money? I, so I know who you are. I know you're the troll that was going crazy in the comments. I recognize your voice. What does it matter, bro? It's the truth. You contributed to this guy's death. No, no. You, you're yeah, actually you a did. really... Yeah, you you're, literally did. I'm going to hang up on him. That No. We're helping a lot of people win every single day, and we put out winning information almost every single day. And Mark was actually doing well, too. And um, he just made a mistake. But no, the thing about sports picks is it has elevated a lot of people's life. It's changed their financial position. I mean, the same trolls who harass are the same ones who hear the callers every day on the stream who hear about how they've never had this much money before. They've never won this much money. They were homeless. They finally got their car out of the shop. They uh, a guy was in a real tough spot, and he said um, he's starving right now. I, I got to talking to this gentleman about... Like, how did you even get in this situation? Because it wasn't that long ago he was way up and, and essentially he would have described as a wealthy person. You know, to make a long story short, he got in the decoding game. He got real good at it. I had people going his way. He had a nice Patreon making good extra money. And the one thing he always had a problem with was betting way too much. And I always told him, like, you got to stop making bets that big i mean that's how you're going to get yourself in trouble and then chasing your losses so i know that's part of his problem but then i was talking to him and he said what happened was his car broke down and it had a major problem and he didn't have the reserves to get the car taken care of but no the thing about sports picks is it has elevated a lot of people's life it's changed their financial position i mean the same trolls who harass are the same ones who hear the callers every day on the stream who hear about how they've never had this much money before. They've never won this much money. They were homeless. They finally got their car out of the shop. They... Uh, just another guy that's full of shit. I mean, I, I've gone on some rants that were over the top, but that's going to continue to... Ha well, actually, I've been ranting a little bit more this last week because I realized my days to get out rants are, 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 are few and far between. Unless I go get a studio and start ranting from there because sweet lady's not going to... Sweet lady's... And I don't, I don't want to be ranting around my child either. I think energy is important. And uh, I, I don't want my child to be picking up on angry vibes. 
we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, I don't know about what any racist comments I made. This is what your boy Gematry FX said. When I had this lying monkey, he's talking about RFG Chosen One, a black guy. When I had this lying monkey on my radio show, I tried to be nice to him. That was my mistake. I should have exposed him for the circus creature he is. Just a just a dumb lying idiot, period. Willie D, Major Shill. You know, if you're subscribed to this guy, tell him to tell him however you want to put it, but this guy's a motherfucking coon. Willie D's probably one of these black men that would bitch if he heard a white person use the word nigga. No, that's just for my people. You know? That's bullshit. And, and wrong picks? Sorry. We, we, we've been killing the world of sports more than anyone ever has in the history of the world. Ego! Trolls like you coming in here, Aaron Hate, you deserve to get washed away in the next weather warfare storm. Wouldn't wish death on anybody, but it, it, again, I mean, re really, every American should be pledging a dollar a month to what I do. We, but again, I, I'm not here for money, you guys. We should have uh, nearly 400 million rolling in a month. Imagine all that money had come to me. Me. If that was the case, I guarantee you taxes would be down real fast, too. You'd be saving a lot of money if you invest in yours truly, because I would lead the revolution, and the federal government would be out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you must have your head so far up your ass, it needs to be surgically removed. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Flashback. In the not-too-distant future, I figure out a way that we can actually put a trust together and create a plan and, and say, like, hey, the first 100 people to, to pledge 10000 we have a million dollars as a community. It's a community pool of money. We make the agreements and decisions together. It's not like one person has sway over everybody else's money. But we figure out a way to put our resources together. Now you have a place where you got food, you got shelter. Let's do it. Let's achieve it. Let's figure out a way to achieve it. I'm going to start looking into a trust. I'm going to be doing more research on the right spot. J. Crew chipped in 10, said, Zach, we need to figure where we can meet up and start a community. We yeah, I hear it, J. Crew. Uh, the hard thing is, is, you know, the, the, the evil ones in the world have their eyes on us, and they want to disrupt everything we're doing. And if we did create a community, they would certainly be targeting it for sabotage. Excuses. Um, it's just like the one guy, when I proposed this idea a few years back, the guy who was the most about it, it turned out he was an undercover fed. Oh, brother. And I was warned in Oklahoma City that he was a fed by a filmmaker that came out there to meet me, and he wouldn't give me the information how he knew he was a fed, but I have no doubt that he was telling the truth now because that guy's deployed a bunch of trolls that sit around and harass us every day. And this guy's like a sociopathic liar. So, I mean, that, that's the tough thing. That's the tough thing about the idea of creating a community. <laughs> and also, I mean, imagine we create a community in this age where there's weather warfare. We'll probably have a hurricane on top of us. Build it inland, you'll have the derecho like they took through Iowa by the numbers. Uh, again, you're just making excuses. And that's the other thing that, that annoys me is like my hater trolls, they're on the $5 tier and all they want to do is make videos when I get things wrong. People want to focus on the things where I've been wrong, you know? Why? It's like, don't you understand? First of all, I could sue your ass because it's illegal to take any information behind a paywall on Patreon. It's right in the terms of service. So, so beware of that too, trolls. I do have the money to sue the shit out of you. The reason I don't is because I'm just like, whatever. I mean, if that's what you want to do and just be a fucking loser and your whole life's uh, dedicated to attacking anything I get wrong because you're a worthless, jealous piece of shit, so be it. But understand, I could. I could go get a lawyer because I do have that money. So you admitted it. And I could sue the shit out of you. It could be like that. It could be like that for the troll who's screen recording right now. If you didn't get washed away with the hurricane. Too bad you already gave me a perfectly reasonable defense laughing out loud. Thank you again to everyone who hits like and the share. And since this video is way too long, if there's something you liked about it and you want to clip it and share it, that would be great. Use your book as a script to make like short videos, like five minute videos. And I just wanted to like get your approval to see if you, what would you think about that? Anyone's allowed to use any of my work for free anytime. If you guys want to print my work and sell it and keep the money for yourself, you can do that. There Anyone's allowed to use any of my work for free anytime. Yes, and I can do it. And again, it, it gets annoying too, just the trolls like playing sound bites from things in 2018. Uh, for all the people who watch the, uh, the, the hater videos where they just keep playing the same sound bites over and over, I'll tell you what though, if this per month thing gets up to something like $10,000 a month, I'll hire a couple people. You know, then I can afford to have some employees. I'll, I'll hire Jonathan, you know.
Right now, there's 10787 coming in a month. That's more than I need for myself. That's why I'm paying $1,000 a month for a website. That's why I'm saving the rest of the money for a future cause, like getting a building and renovating it and being able to have the resources to put in the furniture that we can have to set up a, you know, Gematria Effect news studio. This money is for the cause. Where is the money going? What are you doing with the money? If this money goes up to 30000 I'm telling you guys, it's going to happen overnight. We're going to have the building. We're going to have people hired. It's going to make a huge difference. We can do a lot with 30000 a month, but I am saying we hit 30000 things will happen. Things will happen, and they'll happen fast, and you'll see it. I'm transparent. See, that's why you're just dishonest. You're a liar. Uh, it was addressed like back in 2018 also about how we decided we weren't going to hire anybody because I did go to hire somebody and then they did absolutely nothing. And then it created a whole bunch of jealousy because there were five other people who thought they should have been hired. And, and again, we had an open discussion about that. Uh, I took calls on at the time. Uh, there, there was a woman named Money Penny. I used to call her my e-mom. She was one of the most vocal people. She's like, Zach, you do whatever you want to do like it doesn't even matter what anybody else thinks you're the one you know, she was the most vocal one and, and nobody really disagreed with her who called into that stream you know we had like a three-hour live stream about it trolls don't play any of the clips from that few problems with this new timeline he's giving out first off isn't it convenient how the person he named isn't around anymore to support his claim second off the clips about goals for hiring people aren't all from 2018 most of them are from 2020 Finally, he didn't even have enough money to hire people in 2018. So how did the plan even get changed back then? You have to understand, the people who sit here and troll and harass me, they're just a network of losers. It's just like a political attack ad. You, you clip what you want to put in your little political attack ad and leave everything else out. You, you paint a one-sided picture that, that's a false picture. Sounds like a congrats to the winner's video. But I don't like doing things at other people's expense, right? Joseph, I mean, you're, you're a mean guy, so, so hopefully you can handle this. That said, I have seen your wife, and I might actually rather fuck some dudes than your wife. I talk shit. Your wife is the definition of a paper bag, and it's not even that. It's not even a paper bag. It's just like an, oh, oh. she must be with one little nasty, fat, ugly fucker, too. Again, to me, I'm all about Jesus' teaching of the golden rule. Te treat other people the way you want to be treated. Your wife is the definition of a paper bag, and it's not even that. It's not even a paper bag. It's just like an, oh, oh. <laughs> what an incredible So it, it does all look like it's some kind of network, and there's something definitely wrong with Angel Baby. You guys, let me tell you how Angel Baby is who's friends with, yeah, right. So I didn't know, I asked her not to come out to Buffalo, first of all, but then she calls me in the middle of the night that she's just touched down and she doesn't have anywhere to stay and she needs a ride from the airport. So I'm like, oh, great. So I'm already not getting any sleep. No, I'm not really not getting any sleep. So then I, I bring her back and she says she can just stay in my room with me. I said, no, I said, that's okay. I'll get you your own room. And then even after I got her her room, she comes in and knocks on my door and comes and sits on my bed. And I was like, okay, I don't know if she thinks, I'm not in, I'm not in chicks that look like angel, baby. I'll just put it that way. I talk shit. You know, when I've had to deal with shit, I've dealt with it. I haven't asked anybody to come solve my problems. And like a man, solve the problems myself. Not beg for people online to come take care of it for me. Never once. Some idiot will clip that and be like, Zach always begs for money. No. Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. No, I don't beg for money. I say people should support the work so that we have funds to compete with the other misinformation networks of the world because the information we're putting out is superior and if we had a fraction of the financial support that, say, a CNN does or a Fox News, we'd be deployed all over the place and making an even bigger impact. That's not begging. That's asking humanity to get behind a righteous cause. And he needs money. <laughs> he always needs money. You guys, if you don't know, this guy has like a whole fleet of luxury cars. And I mean, I'm not trying to, it's not a racist thing. His education level is so low, you guys. He cannot like write a sentence. It's like, how the fuck does he have all this money? Why, why are you pocket watching? The, the, if you guys want to figure out how to get in this troll network, hey, Cuts had a brand new car when he came out to meet me. Cuts had a brand new car when he came out to meet me. Cuts sits there and rolls big fat blunts all day. Uh, the way Cut smokes weed, that's an expensive habit. Cut smokes a lot of weed. He's smoking big fat blunts all day long. Where are these guys getting their money from?
pocket watching. You know what? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna propose a conspiracy theory too. Is this guy from the lab? Is this a they clone Tyrone? Was yeah right the Matrix even living in the 90s? Sounds like a mental illness. Where do they get these trolls from? Is this one? Hey, you didn't come out of a lab, did you, with that funny little voice? Wait, say what? Hold I think he did. I think he did. I think these dudes came out of a lab because these are some super weirdos. Uh, again, you just listen to it. It's like mental illness. Oh, wait, he's here. The f <laughs> he showed up. He showed up. All right, here he is. Yeah, right, the Matrix to defend his name. So, yeah, right, the Matrix. What I would like you to start with, just to build some credibility, is to admit that you said I was wrong about Israel a year ago and that it would be out of the headlines in a few days. If you can apologize for being wrong for that, you can try and defend yourself on anything else. And All right. So, when Zach cuts me off, we could finish on my channel because you will, you will 100% cut me off because that's what you do. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. You want me to tell you you're right? Zach, I'll bow down to you. You are 100% right. Okay? Now, the question I got is, Zach, why are you talking about me if I don't even fucking acknowledge you? I don't troll you. I don't got uh, time. Uh, 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 see, I am going to mute you. I'll bring you back on. You are so full of shit. You are on your live stream whenever you do one talking shit about me and the work to this day. Yeah, you like you cut me off like you you always do. This is what you do, Zach. Just lie. I'm not gonna let just lie. Why not? You do it all the time. Who's lying, Zach? I troll you. I can say whatever the fuck I want to say on my channel. It is what it is. I don't come. I don't bother. I don't bother none of y'all motherfuckers. Okay? I can say whatever the fuck I want about anything on my channel, just like you can. I don't call you and say, Zach, come on my channel. You're this. You're that. I talk about you all day long. Who does that shit? This is some weirdo ass shit that y'all do over here. That's why I don't fuck with y'all. I ain't no goddamn truther. I'm a fed. <laughs> Congratulations, Zach. You exposed me. Oh, I love it, Zach. And that badge, that, that stone that I was wearing, yes, it was a badge. Okay, you guys want to hear it? I'll entertain you guys, okay? Man, you know what? I almost feel bad for that guy. He's had a rough year. Have you guys seen him? He, 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 uh, the one thing I got to give him credit to until I see him today, he took care of himself and he always looked young for his age. But man, he looked like he's aged 10 years in the last year. It's been a rough year for him. Black don't crack. It's over now. He's just, you know, he's just talking shit. Zach, you look like you're 50 fucking five years old. Everywhere I go, everyone thinks me and my sons are brothers. So shut the fuck up with that stupid <laughs> shit. Stop, try, stop trying to slander people. Fuck out of here. You definitely you got here. You aged. You, 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 all you could do is send insults. You have no kind of knowledge outside of your fucking number trash. You're a piece of shit fucking human being. Where's, I mean, your, tire on, shop at? Where's your tire shop Come at? on, man. I don't Where's got no shop? fucking tire shop. I'm a fed. I lied. I get money from the federal government. They pay me to do this right here. Troll you all day. <laughs> all you could do is this shit right here. Don't nobody even bother you. If I talk shit about you, I can do that. I don't troll you. I don't go to your platform. I don't go to your people's platform. Your people's defect from you and come over to me. Indeed, indeed. When you explain what your mom does, it's exactly what you do. You're My mom, she can't, ref she, do she doesn't, she, she thinks the whole world's the problem and not her. See, she goes through life the same way every single time, screaming and cussing at everybody and never communicating like a normal human being. And then she thinks everybody else is the problem. It's just, she never learns. You guys don't know my mom, but my mom's miserable every day. Her energy is so bad. It's just so negative. It's so, uh She's just a, a wretched human being. It's true. I mean, life would be better for the people on Earth if my mom wasn't breathing. Because, again, she's just she's dishonest in so many ways. It, yeah, no, because my mom, my mom is like a permanent child. Like, her, her emotional maturity is like around age 12. Like I said, you'll see the rest of this on my live stream. You just want to cut people off because you can't out talk me and you can't out debate me in a real debate without your fucking numbers. Let's you don't talk, shut the fuck up. You just keep talking bullshit. Huh. You don't say anything true. You listen, just lie and keep talking. Listen, listen. I no, I don't want to listen anymore. Again, some people cannot handle criticism. And this is a waste of time, you guys. All he does is get on here and runs his fucking mouth, won't shut the fuck up, and keeps lying. That's all he does. It's Ironic. No, that, that guy's a fraud of a human being. Have you looked in the mirror lately? So that, that's where the question becomes, though. How does this guy have so much money that he has a whole fleet of luxury cars? Why, why are you pocket watching? How is it possible? 
like, I don't want to start making assumptions. I know a certain game that you can make a lot of money in and you don't have to be that smart and you got to get a little bit lucky. Right. But, you know, it's, it's, if you guys missed when he was going crazy a year ago, he's like, man, Zach's about to get me back in my ski mask days. <laughs> ski mask days? Tell me more about it. Right. Tell me more about it. The way he's aged in the last year, it looks like he might have started smoking crack. Yeah. Oh, brother. Uh, here, I'll, I'll address one other thing since we're just putting stuff out there in this stream. Yeah, you've noticed that somebody's not in the chat now that they're not a moderator. <laughs> just so you guys know, Charmed One is a real person. I actually did a, a, a FaceTime with her about a month and a half back. She's a very hard-headed person who thinks she knows, like a lot of people. But I was trying to like get her to chill out on, on opinions that she has on certain people in the community. Like she's a million percent sure that certain people are are operatives and other snakes in the grass. Anyway, what happened was somebody captured what the comments look like and then how certain people's comments were getting deleted. And they sent me a nice long email about all these comments that were obviously getting deleted. So she was deleting people's comments who didn't need to get deleted because she doesn't like them and she thinks they're bad. And, and the reality is, it, it is true. Ever since she showed up, I don't know where she came from. She was always very loyal and dedicated to the channel, but the truth is, since she showed up, she drove a lot of people away. Like yourself. I had to make the executive decision that I, I think she has been more bad than good. No shit. And instead of looking out and seeing there's 400 people watching and we've racked up $2 to change the world, there should be like 4 million people tuned in and we should have $2 million in super chats. Imagine all that money had come to me. Me. I, I turn on some fruity guy, you know, doing his little fruity shoulder shakes and his little fruity fingers. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Diddy's going down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Diddy's going down. Oh yeah. That's his stream. And it's like $100 super chat, 50, 20, 20, 40, 200. Why, why are you pocket watching? How I look, am I looking handsome today? Huh? Am I looking so handsome? Huh? Diddy going down. Huh? It's like, what the fuck kind of world is this? I'm, I'm about to recreate myself as gay Matria. You guys think I'm joking. I'm coming back as gay Matria. Donald Trump, let's off a Trump. I want some of that Trump nut sack. Donald Trump! Gay Matria! That's fucking weird, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell was that all about? You said, don't do it. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Uh, again, if resources came in, like I said, I mean, we could just give all these guys a job, pick them up, help them get money, help them get back on their feet. Jonathan could be finishing his book 38 special, helping change the world that way. Uh, there's other people out there who'd be like, I need the job also. I know. I know a lot of people need the job. There should be way more resources coming in. I'm seeing all these YouTubers getting paid so crazy for their whack-ass streams where they provide zero information. They help nobody out in any way. They didn't bring anything real to the table. You know, they, they shook their shoulders and said, Diddy's going down and just watched a $1,000 rolling in 10 minutes. He just sounded like a mad hater. He just sounded like a jealous dude. How can a gay man get on and say nothing and shake his fruity fingers and make $1,000 in 10 minutes, pocket watching, and here I have been for an hour, and what did we raise? We raised uh, $13 before the YouTube 30% cut. And, and again, I'm going to have three trolls making videos today about why you shouldn't support what I'm doing and how I'm not helping uh, accomplish what I said I wanted to do in 2018. Correct! When meanwhile, I have put a lot of money into the website that almost nobody uses, which in hindsight must have been a mistake based on how low the traffic is on there. And see, I think that's the real problem at the end of the day. Nobody really wants to do anything at the end of the day. They just want to be entertained. They want to watch YouTubers. They want to suck in information, but they don't want to do shit. It took you that long to figure it out, huh? They don't want to support somebody and help them build them up. Or they don't want to do shit. Entertainment. So that's why I might as well turn this into gay matria and work on all my fruitcake moves and make a, in a way, like a, it'll still be educational. You guys think I'm joking, but I, I might seriously try it out. I mean, it's desperation time and nothing that I envisioned has been accomplished. Zip, zero, nada. You're blaming your failure on other people rather than yourself. And, and for
for all the haters out there that'll make videos like, well, look what Zach's doing behind the scenes to build his own wealth using his dad and his wife. Yeah, the reason that we're doing that behind the scenes. Do you admit it? Is because the writing's on the wall that you can only put out information online for so much longer before you're all the way cut off and you have no way to raise revenue. The powers that be can continue to destroy what I've been doing more and more. Again, who knows? We might have accomplished all the goals had we not gotten caught up. Had we continued to grow at the rate we did in 2016 and 2017, we, I mean, at that rate, we'd have like 10 million subs by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might be making it happen, but all that censorship did happen. 20-some channel deletions did happen. The new algorithm happened where you can't get any views. No excuses. I am I am using a, a Twitter right now. I sold out and paid the three dollars a month for Twitter so I can stream on there. Uh, we do have fifteen hundred people between the three platforms I'm streaming on, but that's still not that great. Fifteen hundred on three platforms, that's not that great. Fucking ungrateful loser. Wouldn't you like to see me hire RPM Trey, Jonathan? Wouldn't you like to see us in the studio? Wouldn't you like to see greater work? Wouldn't you like to see Jonathan finish his book? I could finish my damn book. Part of the reason I can't finish my book is because I can't keep up with everything going on. Excuses. It's like I got all these dumbass trolls that know exactly what they're doing, trying to attack the sports work by just cherry picking when we're wrong about things and then using clips of things that we address six years ago, try and create this, this mirage that everything I'm doing is bad and I'm not following through. It's yeah, fair, fair words, fair words. It's like, no, who's not following through is humanity. I, I shouldn't even have to be saying, like, where's the support at? It should just be flowing in. But again, I I'm not here for money, you guys. I mean, imagine that we have the resources to have the studio. We got, like, an apartment complex down there. We all live close. We're community. We work together. We put out really good information together. I mean, stuff like that has to happen to change the world. Then you just got to make it happen. Uh, again, I, I still have the ambition to, uh, to make Gematria Effect News a real thing. And, and by the way, here, I, I will tell you guys something that I've had now for a year. I've had it for, it's about a year since we got it. We do have a commercial property. I, I had to collaborate with my dad and he had to pull a bunch of money out of his savings and we are making payments on it, which is expensive as hell. And the one thing I didn't calculate when we got the commercial property is how much insurance costs for a commercial building right now. It's like, holy shit, how much it costs. And the thing is the building we got, which could be suitable for what we want to do, it does have renters in there. So it's not vacant. It's Mr. Landlord. Hello, Mr. Landlord. But um, right now, even though we have money down on it and making the payment, the expenses, the insurance, I haven't changed things since how the old landlord had it. Like I'm still paying all their utility bills. I lose a little bit of money each month right now with the property. See, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, too oh. bad. But eventually when the thing's paid off and if insurance rates ever settle down, uh, again, but the thing is, like, right now, I couldn't afford to take the tenant out of there and put Gematria Effect News in. I wouldn't be able to afford the bill each month. Talk about a load of shit. You must think your audience is retarded. So, uh, again, like I said, we are working towards goals. And I said a long time ago I wanted to get a property. Well, shit's expensive as hell since I said that. Oh, really? Flashback. My dad, he's born on 94 date numerology, and then I, my birthday's 94 days after his, and my name in Gematria equals 94. And um, he yeah, recently I just went to go talk to an like accountant. You, yeah. He recently went to just go talk to an accountant, and an accountant just gave him a tip about uh, somebody in town selling a business at a super discounted rate. And um, we went and talked to the man and it turned out he, it's a father son business from Portland. Like my dad and I are from Portland and they're, they're out here too, but they they want to leave. And um, <laughs> they're practically giving away this business for free. And so my dad, who's retired, but bored, he, he's like, let's do this. And um, I, I said, all right, uh, we'll go in on it together. <laughs> they're practically giving away this business for free. And I said a long time ago, I wanted to get a property. Well, shit's expensive as hell since I said that. Liar. Liar. Deceiver. Liar. So those things are happening, but we still need way more resources to be able to afford employees. And, and, and for where we'd want to put in the studio, like the thing needs some fixing up too. So probably will eventually reach the goals that I have planned, but it's, it's still a ways off. There is not enough support for this work and there should be way more support. So... Again, you want to help us out? 
uh, you want to help me pay off that building and so I can afford to put employees in there and turn it into Jamatra Effect News Studio? Money, man. People just, people just want money, 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 money. Yeah, that 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 is the that is the ongoing progress, one day at a time. But again, if I if I if I turn this into gay matri and I can do as well as that Sean guy who's just bullshitting, man, we'll have the whole thing paid off in no time. So gay matria might really have to happen. Ooh! Gay matria. He actually is literally showing his character because he's viewing you being on here, giving a shout out to him as a troll, which is fine with me. Free market. I love it. And maybe there are people in his audience who think that this is a gotcha moment. All I was just going to say is following for my numbers and the stuff that he put out, um, it was very, uh, it showed me because uh, I never knew him at the time that he was giving out accurate information. Uh, someone who was looking more that's, for, you know, that's um, a, you know, that's extremely debatable, though, right? If I remember a couple years ago, there was a guy that's actually devoted his channel to exposing all the lies that this guy tells. So. <laughs> Here, I, I, I want to show you something that this video a troll put up. I, I just want you to see what this troll did today. And then I want you to see his uh, comment section. I'm being stalked by a Jamatria cult leader and his followers. Look at, look at all these bullshit ass comments. After the fact, Zach is a scam artist and total fraud. Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words. Hmm. Is that true, or am I the person who has more correct predictions about everything than everyone else combined? Ego! <laughs> Brian in his video tried to uh, say that my troll is exposing that I'm a liar. No, my troll will never debate, and all he'll do is clip up videos and play things out of context. Again, it's easy to chop up somebody's videos, play things out of context, and, and make somebody look bad. That's what, politi that's what like political attack ads are. And keep in mind, that guy's been trolling for how many straight years? And what, he has 80-some videos? So 365 times 5 is like, what, 1,800 days? Uh, out of those 1,800 days, he's been able to make a video 80-some days? 80-some days out of 1,800? How do you think we did on the other 1,720 days? I rest my case. I haven't even had this channel for five years. The actual number of days is about 1,050. Also, it's a dumb argument to begin with, since a lot of the videos cover pics from multiple days. Not to mention all of his videos are bullshit anyway. <laughs> uh, here's a guy who's a total troll who copies my work and makes a living off it and doesn't give credit. Um, again, just the shill network here. One week of my videos is worth more th than the rest of this fake community has been putting out for years. It's just their ego. They're all about their ego. Okay, well, anything else you want to ask me? Did you just guarantee it wouldn't be Dodgers and Yankees? I didn't think it was going to be the Dodgers and Yankees, no. Did you say I'm 100% sure it won't be Dodgers and Yankees? I did. Okay. All right, go ahead. See, I'm not like you. I can admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I always admit when I'm wrong. You are so full of shit. You Arthur's there giving hearts to everybody. Yeah, Zach Hubbard's a racist. Heart from fat Arthur. I, I got to admit, man. All of us have a racist side in us. Man, when I get an ignorant black person that goes off on me, I'll tell you what, there must be something in my programming too, because I am always on the verge of that word. I didn't call it the N-word, but I'm telling you, man, it was, it was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, he is a racist. Heart. Really? I'm a racist? Yeah. If the shoe fits. For the guy who says, I'm going to get what I deserve. No, I'm not going to get anything. My karma's good. My karma's very good. I'm not going to get anything. You're going to get banned, though, right now. Take a hike, loser. Uh, again, some people cannot handle criticism. Like, this shit is comedy to me. Like, are you posting up uh, an arrest that I happened in 2014? Like, that shit is funny to me. I made so much money from that arrest. And then you're telling people that I'm a groper, blah, blah, blah. And then you're telling people that that's the truth because the post reported it yet for the last 10 years you've been telling people not to believe what the media reports like you're a fucking comedian but i get it you're in this business to make money and you're a judge you have to destroy all your competition i get i get it when i came into this community i actually looked up to you i was like man this guy is amazing i, I like what he stands for but then after you know because it's been almost seven years then I got to little by little get see the real side of you. I'm like, I don't think I like this guy anymore. And a lot of people felt that way. That's why a lot of people left. Yeah, fair, fair words. Fair words.
But I'm, th I'm thinking that you can still fix all this. I think you can. You still have time to fix all this if you put your ego to the side. I think we know that's never going to happen. Everybody should be sharing the work we're doing. It's the best work on the internet. Ego. Exactly. And you got, I mean, look at all the trolls that make videos about me that also won't come on and debate. The one guy who has the most dedicated channel, we did end up on a stream together one time on another person's platform. I think Richard knows what's up. That's exactly what it was. And look who Ali was. Ali was somebody that, see, Ali was trying to get in my pants, and I guarantee you, had I slept with Ali, I guarantee that would have been out all over the internet. And For people who watch these videos and think like, uh, you know, I'm just a schizophrenic uh, rain man, I'm not. And I'm not going to do that. I'm loyal to Sweet Lady, but that, it's obvious what that whole operation was about. Send out the little cute girl, have her flirt, have her try to start a romantic relationship. And is there anything certifiable about you? Is there any kind of diagnosis? Is there something we should know about you? But see, that's how this whole troll network of operatives is. I, I can say, I noticed there's a guy over on the troll channel and every comment section is blowing me away. I'm like, what in the world? I promoted that guy for years. What's he over there doing now? He was another operative this whole time. It's crazy. So many operatives around here. Uh, again, you just listen to it. It's like mental illness. By, by the way, you guys, my, now that my mom's here, I do got to call my mom out. My mom thought I should leave sweet lady for Allie. <laughs> oh, man, mom. See, it just you, gotta let, you should recognize that your son has a lot better discernment. It makes a lot better decisions in his life than you do. I mean, here comes the best part. Imagine had I left sweet lady for Allie. Ali, how bad of a decision that would have made. Ooh, man, would have left for some kind of troll operative. I'd probably be in the obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> you might be following someone who is just severely mentally ill. It sounds like it. All, all the evidence points to it. <laughs> My mom, she, you know, she was never the best at, at picking people out, so... Oh, mom, you got to stop. You got to stop. You were there and met her in person. She's the one who came out to Seattle. Come on now. My mom. My mom is the definition of zero accountability. It runs in the family. <laughs> uh, seventh Denim, this comment right here just shows kind of like what a little stupid loser you are, too. You're one of the swine that came into my community. I'm not beefing. I'm just stating facts. You guys get hurt. All you guys who were raised with no daddies and like your grandma's way too much. Oh, I'm sorry. That's kind of racist, wasn't it? Notice how most of your community is like, I'm going to go out and vote for a woman. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I know I'm speaking facts, and I don't care if anybody perceives it as racist because it's not. It Debatable. I mean, just stupid comment. Stupid comment. How about get a brain seventh denim? How about make me re not regret about casting pearls before so many swine like yourself. This work is not for swine. If my mom was in my ear a thousand times about leaving sweet lady for Allie, <laughs> which is just insane. Again, just imagine had I taken my mom's advice and left sweet lady a good one for a troll operative who probably would put poison in my drink. Oh, can you say mental illness? There are some people who do really bad decodes and they make Gematria look really dumb. There's a guy who did a decode yesterday on the death of the 49ers daughter, Amani Joy. He connected it to the song Daughter by Pearl Jam, which I'm pretty sure uh, it doesn't have anything to do with. And, and, and this guy, all of his decodes are like this. It's like every time he does a decode, I'm like, how are you connecting it to like something that's just so arbitrary? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to say who I'm talking about. I mean, if you, if you know, it, like, because it's just... Their their channel's a joke at this point. And, and I notice they're always living in my trolls comment section, too. They're talking shit in the troll comment section. <laughs> just all these losers who I help promote and build up are just nothing but backstabbers and haters and seemingly some kind of agents who were sent here to essentially mislead people from the work. For people who watch these videos and think like, uh, you know, I'm just a schizophrenic uh, rain man, I'm not. The fucking guy, he never tells the truth, motherfucker. 
I'm almost tempted to start a tier um, for people who want to do the best video edits of my work each week instead of the top three people who did the, the top three best in sports picks, I'm paying out people who did the top three best edits of my work to get out a, a shorter, more compact video. Again, it's just like I have my troll who's dedicated to screen recording everything and only broadcasting things we get wrong. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. See, that, that I mean, that, that's what Jack Talcott's always talking about. If the world was more fueled by love than hate, you know, you'd have that guy instead of screen recording to show everything wrong, he'd be screen recording to show everything right, which is way more. <laughs> really? No. This guy is full of shit, you guys. And he'd be helping build this movement and grow this movement and help change the world. And, and see, people like this, though, just like the fakes and frauds and phonies, like my number one troll, he's always so focused on the 2018 thing that I said that I retracted about a month later when it turned into a problem and said we were going a new route, but he always plays that clip to make it seem like I didn't follow through on something. Because that's what happened. I'll tell you what though, if this per month thing gets up to something like $10,000 a month, I'll hire a couple people. You know, then I can afford to have some employees. I'll, I'll hire Jonathan, you know? Right now there's 10,787 coming in a month. That's more than I need for myself. That's why I'm paying $1,000 a month for a website. That's why I'm saving the rest of the money for a future cause, like getting a building and renovating it and being able to have the resources to put in the furniture that we can have to set up a, you know, Gematria Effect news studio. This money is for the cause. If this money goes up to 30,000, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna happen overnight. We're gonna have the building. We're gonna have people hired. It's gonna make a huge difference. We can do a lot with 30,000 a month but I am saying we hit 30,000, things will happen. Things will happen and they'll happen fast and you'll see it. I'm transparent. Guy just makes me sick. No, nobody should donate a penny to that guy. But it's like, he doesn't have any intention of me wanting to follow through on that. He wants to make it more impossible for that to ever happen. This is straight up bullshit, man. All I've ever pushed for is transparency and for him to do what he said he would. He's the one who hid the pledged amount on Patreon and won't show how much has came in. This is what it is right here. Fuck you. So see, he wants to use a clip in a dishonest way to make it look like I'm the bad guy. If the shoe fits. And then wants to try and tear everything down and say like, oh, how come he's not delivering? It's like, see, I mean, this is the piece of shit human being. Have you looked in the mirror lately? And only dumb people are fooled by anything like this. And again, because there are a lot of dumb people, they are fooled. But that that's it. I mean, only dumb people are fooled by my critics and trolls. No one with a brain is mad at anything I'm doing. Everything that guy just says, bullshit. That's all, folks. Till next time, true seeker.